Hey everyone, it's Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be checking this Magic Mill food dehydrator out because Monkey and I have a camping trip coming up. So I'm going to dehydrate some homemade noodles I made for Christmas. So let's open this up, let's see what's in it, and then we're going to try it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to have our last adventure of 2023. Right, Monk? Yeah. So, we're going whole hog, huh? This knife could use a sharpening, but it's tiny. Look at that. It's got initials on it. What's the initials? I don't know. It's in it's written kind of fancy. L M B. I don't know. <laughs> I've got a bunch of knives. LMB. Mm -hmm. It's got like a nail file on it. Mm -hmm. There's the nail file. Mm. And two blades. This, this is a little screwdriver. A little straight screwdriver. So, alright. Now, let's open the, open the bottom so I can just show this out through. So, Muggy, what'd you get for Christmas? A sign. <laughs> yes, I got her <coughs> one of those lighted marquee signs. She's been wanting one since I got mine, so I got her one. Actually, Bruno got it for her. Yes. But, what else did you get? Projector. She got a projector. <laughs> Guys, I got her a projector. So, funny story about that. Uh, Christmas Eve when we was having our live stream, Kenny, he had mentioned he's going to be getting one for when he goes camping and stuff to watch scary movies on when he's out in the woods. I wanted so bad to tell him, you know, funny you should mention that because I just got monkey one. <laughs> so, but I couldn't say anything. Yeah, no, it's sitting right there. <laughs> so, alright. So this must be the unit. Oh, candy dish. This must be. Tray. The trays. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's well packaged. If you guys didn't see it, you should check out the video where this was an early Christmas present from Monkey to me. And if you didn't see that video, well, why are you just now opening it? Because I wanted to wait till after Christmas. Because this. She ordered that through Amazon and didn't put, it's a gift. She didn't check that box, it's a gift. So they just sent it just like that. As you can see, UPS brought it and there's virtually no damage. If that was you, if that was uh, FedEx, none of this would have survived. So it was a surprise because she wasn't here. UPS came, I just went out and grabbed it. I was like, ooh, somebody sent me something. I got to look and it had her name on it. And we've been talking about getting one for a couple of years. To make stuff for camping, you know, ready to eat meals for camping. And uh, I was like, uh oh. So I sent her, <laughs> I said, Are you expecting something? Uh, expecting a package? She said, Yes. I said, What is it? And she said, None you. <laughs> she said, Why? I said, Oh, well, that kind of sucks. And she said, Why? 
and I just shot her out a picture of it and she goes oh no well Merry Christmas <laughs> so now this is gonna take like 12 hours because I'm making homemade noodles like I said so we're not gonna be able to try the noodles out until our camping trip which is tomorrow now I'm wondering if because noodles and stuff like that I mean you know this is open so am I gonna have to put like parchment paper down because it'll drain through if I don't, I don't know. you know and did these I guess book? huh did you get a book and these I guess there was some way you can flip these and make it more height for thicker stuff we're also going to be making a lot of beef jerky with this, huh? Yeah. Because there's the lid. That's what so, I, I don't know. I'm just taking books in here somewhere. But here's the unit. It's not as big as it looks, and that's fine with us because we didn't want one of the huge ones. It's a digital readout. That's fine with me. Are you happy with that? Yes. We don't need a huge one. It takes up too much counter space. So we do have a book here. Oh, there's the book. Arbitrary agreement. All limited warranty. And here's the book. So I will be looking at this book before we go any farther. Reading over it. So, yeah. If I remember right, flip these around one way or another and it gives you more space in between so but let me let me read over my book and then we'll get some noodles out we'll put in here but like I said it's I mean it's open I don't want all my juice going down in there so how am I going to do that like I said maybe put parchment parchment paper in there or something so let me read up on this and then I'll explain to you a little more about it as soon as I find out. So hang tight. Okay, so this is what I used. Parchment paper. And I cut the hole a little big around here in the sides. The sides. Okay, the sides. Made them a little smaller so the air can get down into the other layers. So I'm going to make up a few more of these. This is a six tray. So I'm going to make up... I don't know. Might make up five more. I'm just going to use this as a template. And then we'll get on to dehydrating our noodles. Okay, guys, this is what I come up with. This is the front face of me. So I cut four of these all together. And I'll show you one. I'll speed you up while I'm putting it on here. Um, they say if you have food that's already heated up, it doesn't take as long so I just heated this up a little bit it's warm but it's not hot so I'm going to use this little ice cream scooper here and I'm going to put it around here and what I'm going to do I'm going to set this and I'm going to set it I don't know maybe eight hours and I'm going to check it every hour every hour like I'll pull this bottom one and put it on the top and that way by the time it gets done they should be equally dried out I've never had one. Oops, I'm making a mess. I've never had one of these, never used one. I just always used an oven or like the like I would use a grill or you know, barbecue grill for making my my beef jerky. You can buy these things too. We was looking at them online. They have hundreds of them. Not just this company, but I mean, you can get them there's all different kinds, round, square, and they're, um, they're silicone. So you can cut them to fit whatever you want so they're reusable. Also, these trays, well, we don't have one, but, well, I have one. It's called Monkey. These trays, they're stainless steel. You can put the trays in, um, in a dishwasher, so... 
I figure by the time this gets dehydrated, it's probably going to yield maybe, you know, one serving, one, one cup. I don't know. We'll have to see per, you know, per layer. So, so this is what I'm going to do. I guess I didn't speed you up, but now I'm going to go ahead and do this on the other ones and save you from that because you already seen this one. I've, I've got them cut. I just use this as kind of like a template. And like I said, I cut it a little bit bigger around here and smaller around the edges so the uh, air, the hot air, can get down to the bottom because it comes up through the center and then goes back down to the bottom. So, all right, I'm going to do the rest of these and then we'll, um, then we'll turn it on and see how, how loud this is going to be. like this now we'll get another one of my parchment papers out here I put a little dot on these right there's the dot on the front part so yeah that's what we're going to do and I'll be back with you when we get ready to turn this on we'll find out how loud it is now if you guys want more height in between here all you have to do is pick it up Turn it 180 degrees. And now you have more height. Here, I'll bend you down. Bend you down. I'll uh, bring you down here a little bit lower so you can see the difference. Okay, see the difference in the height here? Let me zoom you in a little bit. Now watch when I raise this one and I turn it. See how close that is? Now if I turn it again, there it is. It sets up higher. And it's done with these little legs right here. If you have them one way, they'll go down inside here. And if you have them the other way, they set up on top. So, so there's on each side there's different so that's pretty cool but I'm gonna have them like that now let's go ahead let me back you out here I got my my thing's a mess not this but let's turn you this way I'm gonna put our lid on I'm not gonna put the other tray in I don't think there's a need for it okay see that's real close now if I turn it Hundred eighty degrees. It's not as close. So let's go ahead. My Christmas light. Well, they're everyday lights actually. I can just unplug that. But let's go ahead and plug that in. There we go. Now this is time and temp. This is start and stop. So okay, there's one hundred fifty-eight degrees. Um. Let's, let's go 150 degrees, and the time, let's go with, um, let's go with six hours. Now I'm going to hit the start button. That is very quiet, guys. I mean, very quiet. The microwave's louder than that. All right, so every hour... See, it's 150 degrees. Every hour, I'm going to take the bottom one, move it on top. And then the top, you know what I mean? And then the second layer will now be on bottom, vice versa. Or not vice versa, but, and so on. So every hour, I'll just take the bottom one, put on the top. And I'm going to do that until they have all been, so which should be about my six hour point. And we'll, um, but we'll check them every hour. I'll kick you on every hour and we'll see how it's doing. So stick around, guys. Also, I don't know if I was recording that, but I might make some beef jerky tonight to take with us. Um, really, it's the same thing, only I'm not going to be using parchment paper. It'll set right on the 
on the rack itself. So, um, all I'm going to do is make a, just a teriyaki jerky. And I'm just going to let it set a couple hours. I'm not going to do the 12 hours. Because like I said in the video where I made it before, I've tasted it at after it's marinated for 12 hours. And I've tasted it after marinating for only one to two hours and I couldn't tell a difference some people can some people palates some people's palates are, are more sensitive to others but I couldn't tell a difference and uh, monkey couldn't tell a difference because I only did that one an hour or two but that's all I'm going to do tonight that way we can have our stuff ready by tomorrow um, I mean I got time but you know so this will be done and I'm going to make up a couple pound of that well out of a couple pound of uh, bottom round and um, so I'm not sure how much that's going to yield I can't remember but it'll be a good snack I know the last last time I made it I made it in the oven and only literally I had one piece to try and I had like two or three after that her mom and her monkey and her mom ate the rest of it I was like excuse me it's like oh my gosh you can make turkey jerky in here we do have turkey I made a turkey and ham this year so I've never made turkey jerky I don't remember I don't recall I may have or been with somebody that has but I don't remember so I may think about that but not tonight because this is going to be a lot of fun we're going to do a lot of Chef Shea Bear videos with this thing so I can feel the heat awesome alright guys I'll see you in an hour okay it's been an hour and there's what we're looking at here it's starting to dry out good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top four off well the top three and I'm going to put the bottom one on the top just like that I'm going to put it back on now we're going to go for another hour. Okay, I took that off, so it shuts it off. So let's do, we had, okay, we're going to leave it at 158. Let's go, uh, we had it on six hours, so let's go five hours and start it. There we go. See you in another hour. Okay, so let's check it one more time. And. Alright, it's drying out nicely. So I'm going to switch it again. Set this on top. We got four more hours. Well, a little less than four hours to go. But if it needs more, I'll give it more. So you get the idea. I'm going to do this every hour. We got three hours, 54 minutes left. So I'm going to keep keep doing this. And then I'll let you know when it's done and exactly how many hours it took. Okay, guys. I think we're done. Um, I got about nine and a half hours on this. Very nice. I'm going to let this cool down. And I'm going to break it up and put it in a Ziploc baggie. But first, I have a little bowl here. I'm just going to break some of this off. I have some water already heated up over there. I think I might let it go. Because this is going to be eaten up tomorrow. So I think next time I might let it go 10 hours. I did bump it up after the first hour to its highest setting at 158. So let me get the water. It's right over there and a spoon and let's see what this is going to taste like okay so I don't know how much water to put in the stuff to make it rehydrate that might even be too much but it's trial and error you know the first time you do something so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this on top of here and let it set for four or five minutes and I'll bring you back. We'll give this a taste. I know it's not going to taste as good as, you know, the um, right out of the pan homemade. 
but I'm sure it still won't be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start bagging this up too while we're waiting. Okay guys, so this is what we ended up with. By looking at it, you might be able to tell. It smells like homemade. Let's see what the flavor is going to be like. Now what I did was I went I went ahead and I boiled it up for time because there's something else I want to do in there. Uh, it's almost 1.30. Now I googled this and a couple people had said that to go 10 to 12 hours on this stuff we got about nine hours in it or nine and a half hours so um but they said to make that's if you want to keep it for a long time you can go eight to ten hours if you're going to eat it like the next day or the next couple days so let's try this out still nice and hot it's very good um could you trick somebody possibly i think i could tell it was homemade but i i do think i could tell that it was um dehydrated and then rehydrated but as far as the flavor it tastes fine now once that's pretty damn good now once the um where they got to where I could flip them. I went ahead and I took the parchment paper out. I flipped them and, or took the parchment paper out and then flipped them over. I did that at about seven hours in. This thing's so quiet, we can't hear it in the bedroom. Um, the exhaust fan's louder than that on low. So, um, yes, it's very quiet. got this um, I did put a couple more pieces back in there for a few more minutes just to be safe other than that I think we're good because we're gonna eat these tomorrow so what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and get the baggies those little silver pouches uh, maybe later on I'll get a vacuum sealer that way it could last pretty much indefinitely and of course we'll get the silica packets put in there keep moisture out I think we're good to go I can't wait to try it on spaghetti, chili, and beef stew. Right on. So I'll show you what I'm going to do next with this. Oh yeah, that's right. Beef jerky time. Now, the book that came with this says five hours at its highest setting, which is uh, 158 degrees. So we're just going to go ahead and set that right now. This is... I've been kind of nibbling on this and man it's everybody I take is even better than the last um, so let's go ahead and set this we're gonna set it at five hours whoops There's five hours 158 degrees start there we go of course I will come out and check on it sweating I am hot I will come out and check on it in a couple hours, move them around a little bit, and um, see how they're doing. But that you're going to have to wait till the next video, which well, I won't have the next video up until video up until Friday. So, um, so you have to wait until Friday. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, we're going to find out how this tastes. Like I said, I made it in the oven before. I just made a quick teriyaki so they've been marinating for what about six hours so should be alright alright guys thanks for watching I appreciate it Shea Bear the Myth the Man the Legend Golf for now and I want to say monkey thank you for the early Christmas present even though I didn't open it until today well I knew what it was but I didn't open the box so it's been a running joke since this thing came in I wonder what I, I put it under the tree I was like wonder what's in that box <laughs> she'd be like funny <laughs> but so anyway there we go guys i'm gonna let this do its thing i'm gonna finish my noodles i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care oh two thumbs up so far 
I'll have to let you know later on how the longevity is, if anything breaks and whatnot. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.